In this Excel 2010 file, I have three pivot charts and a filter at the top that controls all of them. If I select a specific date, like March 2012, all the charts change automatically. And there's no programming. This is controlled with slicers that are on a different worksheet. So we'll see how to set this up in your own workbook. In this file, I have all the data and I'm going to insert a pivot table. So I'll select any cell, go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, click Pivot Table, and here's the table selected automatically. I want this on an existing sheet, and I'll put it here on my Pivots worksheet and click OK, and there's the empty pivot table. So for this one, I'm going to put Date in the Report filter, and then I'll add Color and Quantity. For quantity, instead of showing sum of quantity, I'll just change that heading to QTY for quantity. And there's our first pivot table. And I will just copy and paste this to create two other pivot tables. So copy and paste. And for this one, instead of color, I'll show size. And for the third one, instead of color, I'll show market. So now we have three pivot tables, and to create a chart for one, I'll click somewhere in that pivot table, insert charts, a column chart. We can make it smaller, and we can format this to get rid of the buttons. So on the Analyze tab, I'll click the buttons because they're just taking up too much room in a small chart, and I'll change this heading. This is the chart that is going to show the color. So I'll do the same thing for the two other pivot tables so they each have a chart. So now I've got the three charts and I'm going to select them and then cut them and put them onto a dashboard sheet. So I'll click on the first chart to select it, hold the control key and click on each of the other two, control X to cut them. And I'll go to my dashboard sheet. I'll select a cell here, control V to paste them. And there are my three charts. Now I want some way to control them so they all change at the same time. To do that, I'm going to go back to my pivots worksheet and make a fourth pivot table just by copying this one and pasting it. And in this one, I don't want to see color or quantity. I just want the filter left. So this is date all, and that's what we're going to use to control the others. I'm going to insert a slicer on the ribbon, click insert slicer and it shows the fields in this pivot table so I want a date slicer and click OK and now I can see all the dates and if I click March 1st it changes this pivot table but none of the others so I we'll want to connect this slicer to those three pivot tables as well I'll right click on the slicer and click pivot table connections and here we can see it's just connected to pivot table four so I'll check the other three and click OK and as soon as I do that the dates change for those so when I change the slicer all the pivot tables change but also if I change one of the pivot tables select a different date that affects the slicer which in turn affects all the other pivot tables so this is going to let us control all the charts because everything is connected to this slicer. So I'm going to cut from here, go to my dashboard and paste, and there's the drop down. Make it a little bit wider. And if I select May, all the charts change because the pivot tables in the background have changed. I'm going to make a little more room here by going to Options and hiding the field list. I don't want that to appear if someone clicks on this cell. And the other thing I'll do is right click, go to Pivot Table Options, and turn off Auto Fit, just so that this column doesn't change size as I select different dates. So now I can select a date, all the charts change, everything is connected without any programming. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.